Hey guys, it's Haley and Mallory, and today we're going to be making a cute garden craft that you can make with things in your backyard. And we're going to do a tour of our garden and show you what's in it. Let's get to it. The, the things you'll need are... Rocks. You can get these from anywhere from your backyard, but we got them from the dollar store. Some sticks, which we found outside. Some string, you can use any color you want, it doesn't matter, we're just using white. And a hot glue gun. Now you'll need to grab a few rocks. So first what you're going to do is just make a circle with whatever rocks you want. And make it how big you want your little well. So you're going to glue all these rocks together in, and stay in a cir circle shape. This is what you should have, it should be a nice ring. So we put another layer around, so now we have two layers of rocks. So now you're going to repeat and do a third layer of rocks. So now I've done my third layer of rocks and you can leave it there if you want a tiny well or you can keep adding until it's the height you want. Okay so you've done another layer and now you can go ahead and fill any little gaps with hot glue. So now that you've filled your gaps, you're going to remove any strings from the hot glue, and then we're going to add our sticks and string. So you're going to want to get like a small stick, probably about that size, but if you have one that's too big, you can just break it. Next, you're just going to glue them onto the sides. you have your sticks glued onto the sides, you're going to take one smaller stick and glue it onto the top of them like so. The top, to give it that effect, <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to tie it on to secure it. And just trim a little bit, and then trim it till it reaches so it reaches the bottom. And there you have it. That is what your finished project should look like. Super cute. And you can add a bottom if you want but we prefer not to. It's just easier. But you can make it whatever size you want. You can do pretty much whatever you want with it. You can have it as room decor if you want, or put it out in your garden, like we are. Or even in your backyard, or whatever you want. So we're now gonna do our garden tour, so. As you can see here, we've got these cool lions, those are pretty cool. And then if you look over here, we got these grapes. Those are all grapes. And we just have some nice flowers. And you can see back there, there's some pea plants. So that's pretty cool there. And as you can see on the other side here, we have more grapes. So we're going to have lots of grapes, so they do good in the summer, which is good because it's almost summer. And here, right in the middle, we got a bunch of tomato plants, which have really gotten so big. And as you can see here, there's all those little tomatoes, and there's all the little tomatoes all around. There's some here, all these yep. flowers will be tomatoes, and they're just so big and thriving amazing. 
And here we have all this lettuce all around. Some cute little ladybugs that we painted. They're so cute. And here's some cilantro, which is getting very big. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, over here we have our radishes, which are getting very, very big, as you can see. And we have some carrots, which are very close together, so I don't know how well they're going to do. But, yeah, we'll let them grow more. And here we have beets, and they're really, really big. And so we have those little ones that are getting bigger. And in the back here, we have squash and another big squash. Another big, big squash. Those are very, very big. And this here start growing. is a bean plant. There's a garden bit. here. Are some more radishes and, and some radishes more radishes. and some beets and, and then some we beets. have some decorative flowers. Which <laughs> aren't doing good. Over here we have some sprouts. There's some squash. I think these are all squash. And oh watermelon right here, which is gonna be great in the summer. We have some peas, <laughs> snowbird peas, and some more squash. Here we have some rainbow bell peppers, which we've never had before. We're not sure how these will turn out. Start that. I'm sorry. And then over here, a we big have rhubarb, a rhubarb plant. And I don't know if you guys have ever had rhubarb, but rhubarb pie is very good. So we're quite excited about so that. We have some more peas, as you can so see, cute. Cute. and we have a big pepper growing. It's going to be a yellow pepper, so we're we excited about that. A blackberry bush, some right chickens, there. hi chickens, and we got more grapes all along here. They're so big. Here, and lots here of squash. Lot of squash, and there's some cucumber, that one's a lemon cucumber. And, okay. oh, anyway. <laughs> and if you can see in here somewhere that there's a nice flower in there and you can see somewhere in here there's a cucumber or I mean a squash growing so that's pretty cool and back there we got some more bean plants which is just very cool yeah Okay, now let's take you over to the other part of our garden. There's our compost. So it's compost is really, really looking. good. For it looks gardens. gross, but it's going to be great for our garden. So here we have this other part of our garden. Here's some more squash you can see. That is a squash, and that is a squash, and that is a squash. And then in those tires are potatoes. So that one I think is sweet, sweet potatoes. Potato. Normal potatoes. And the thing with these, you plant them in there, and when they start to sprout, you put more dirt on top, and then another tire, and then they'll sprout even taller and taller and taller, and you just keep putting more tires on top. until you, And then you take them off, and there's a bunch of potatoes in there. So that's pretty exciting. And then up here, we have our a nice big garden. Big garden which but is technically the same garden, but let's go in. So we have some little so, strawberries growing on this. Yes, we have this nice As you can see, thing here, where we put... <laughs> got lots and lots of stuff it's in all here. all lettuce, which will be great. And there's just some random stuff down there. This, I'm not sure what this is. But here we got all this spinach, which is just gonna be really good. And here we got more squash. Look at all this tomatoes that we got growing right there. That's a lot there's of tomatoes. another flower on here. Yeah. That will turn into a nice squash. flower. We just got some 
Little corn plants. Look at that. Rat trap. Flowers. And, and here we got some onions. Which is just very cool, but I don't like onions. But that's okay. Look at that. That's a squash. There's a squash on there. So that's pretty cool. So actually have another garden over there which has just right now it has some squash and cucumbers and that's yeah. it so we're gonna go check that out so we'll be back so now we are in our other garden and you can see all along there are all cucumbers which we started from seeds and we've got some nice flowers, that pretty flower there. So we've got that going. video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you want more garden videos.